Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about decision tree in multi stage and using that I will show how to analyze investment problem. Let's move ahead. An investor he is deciding whether to build a retail store or not. So after investing, if it is successful with probability of 0.55, there will be a profit of 120,000. But if it is not successful, there will be a loss of 100,000. That is why He is trying to find more informations. It's like a market research and it was found that it will cost 30,000. And the information of this market research, it is favorable with a probability of 70%. And this favorable information, it will change the likelihood of success to 0.8. But unfavorable information will change the likelihood of success to 0.3. Let's see in the next slide what is the outcome. This is a decision tree. Actually, this decision tree we make using tree plan software, but I am not using it. I just sketch the diagram to show actually how to put the prices on this decision tree. So I put here marks say some colored yellow color and other color also that is the places i will do just or i will put the value from our problem what i have read in the previous slides but other all this value which is like here 46000 23000 30000 it will be generated by the tree plan software but here i want to tell some fundamental things for an example this is a square it is a decision node and it gives the branches this is we call alternatives for an example here we have two alternatives do market research or no market research and then we rate if we do market research there is a chance of having favorable and unfavorable favorable was 70 percent so 0.7 unfavorable was so it will be remaining 30 percent if no market research then if we do invest or we'll do nothing if we do invest there is a success and failure and if it is successful already i read in previous slide there will be 120000 profit otherwise there will be 100000 loss if there is no market research this is actually outcomes Here, so from favorable, we put again 
two alternatives invest or do nothing same as from unfavorable we made two alternatives invest or do nothing if we do invest what will be the outcomes this is outcome notes here it is showing here 90000 but in our question it was 120000 so how this 90000 comes because 120 minus 30000 because this 30000 we will spend for the market research that is why it is 90000 but if failure that failure was 100000 so if 100000 we if we fail i mean if it is failure then of course we have to spend this money also 30000 for research so total loss will be 130000 that is why here 130 here 90 in other options if it is unfavorable we had option 30 percent success so failure will be 70 percent in that case as well here it was 120 so same as 30,000 we are spending for research so 120 minus 30 it will be 90 and for failure 100,000 as well as another 30,000 will be in loss so it will be 130,000 and all this value we are putting here this is called payoffs and if we do no market research and if we go for invest already we saw in our problem it was told 120,000 profit so 0.55% success so remaining 0.45 I mean 45% it will be failure and that failure it was with 100,000 and all these expected monetary values what we are finding here this is all expected monetary values software it will generate by itself and step by step it will go backwards if we go then here this is our target point to see in this node decision node what is the expected monetary value this is 23000 200 so all this value we can check it again just have a look 120 minus 30 i got 90 100000 plus 30 i got 130 and i had probability 0 0.55 55 percent you can see it here 120 already taken from here 100,000 taken from here and this is 55 means it will be 45 but in this case we are using 30,000 for spending for the research that's why here values are different this is the things market research 30,000 that's what I told here we used it 70% we used it 70% this is the place and this one this is the place 70% favorable information markets is favorable look at favorable unfavorable 70 percent 30 percent already i told but here i am showing what was in the questions so 70 percent means 70 and remaining unfavorable 30 and this 0 0.8 80 percent this is here 80 20 this 30 percent this is here 30 and 70 so all i have shown So, from this decision tree, uh, what is your recommendations? We will see in the next slide doing calculation as well using this expected monetary values 
as well this one 21,000 and how much the information worth and what is the efficiency so based on the result what we have seen in the previous slide we can calculate the efficiency but we need to find expected value of sample information and expected value of perfect informations so what i am doing expected value of sample information this will be already i showed in previous decision tree 23200 and this is expected monetary value plus 30000 so this is total expected monetary values minus of this one we had when we calculated it was without this you see 21000 and this is 23200 these two value we are using here So, I have to find expected value with perfect information. There is a formula, probability multiplied by best payoff. This is very important point, best payoff. So, how to, without research, we use that 55% of 120, but in other case, 45%, it was our loss, so I put here zero because it was not best payoff best payoff was zero actually not minus so it is 120000 into 0.55 so 66000 it is the value for expected value with perfect information that is w here please keep it in your mind because next slide we will use this value because this was expected value sample information and one important things i forgot to tell this 32200 expected value of sample information we are spending 30000 but already we get expected value of sample information by 32200 so this value is very close to this so we recommend this to go for market research with 30000 So we have to calculate efficiency using value of EVSI, EVPI, already I explained what it is. Then now I will find EVPI, expected value, perfect information. So we have this value, in previous slide we saw 66,000 and 21,000. So this 21,000 already we know, we got from what? From where I showed already this is the value 21,000 this one and this 66,000 already we saw in the previous slide so efficiency will be EVPI we got expected value of perfect information we got 45,000 and EVSI in previous slide it was 32,200 so ratio is 70.7155 71% efficiency efficiency is 72% and that's all for today thanks for watching